Hello Kidaholics Kids fans, it is Jess here and thank you for joining me for this Kidaholics Kids design team layout. So for this layout, Steph provided me with this stunning inspiration by the wonderful Mari Hurst and I took this inspiration quite literally and have created a beautiful, if I do say myself, scrap lift of that amazing page. I loved it. I actually tried to pull away from the yellow so it didn't look quite as identical to Mari's, but when I was looking at my photographs, the yellow and the little like different colors inside the flowers really tied in super, super well with all the different colors that my family are wearing in our photos. So I'm just going to roll with it and have mine be super yellow, just like hers. Now I threw in that putting on the watercolor early even though I haven't actually done it yet just so you can see the concept of how that watercolor went on in the background and what I was using I keep calling it watercolor even though you saw me sort of dripping it out it's a art philosophy concentrated watercolor uh, and it's called the color taxi you will have to check with Steph about this one um, it was gifted to me by her for Christmas uh, and it's beautiful so I went ahead and cut some strips of this yellow in one inch strips. A couple of them are too wide, which you can see there. The first one and the third one are bigger than an inch and they don't work. I, I go back and I cut them down to be an inch. The, the extra fatness is just throwing me out. I kind of thought it'd be cool to have multiple sizes, but in this case, no, 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 no. It was bad. So, so um, these blue ones, they are one inch though. So basically all I did was make sure I cut the angle in the same direction so that that, um, you know, the points are going, so the yellow and blue points on the two pages that are lining up together are going in the same direction, but it didn't matter if when I put them on the page, they kind of alternated directions. It kind of throws that sort of sunbursty feel at you, which is just beautiful. So once I go ahead and kind of place these out and get the feel of it, because I don't know if you remember from the photo at the start, she has four photos, but they're a lot smaller than mine. Mine are full three by four size and they take up the whole length of the um, page, which is totally fine. Just gives a little bit of a different feel. I can't kind of have my starburst going all the way around my photos. I have to really have them concentrating across the top. I do sneak in that little one down the bottom though, just to, you know, add a little something, something. I also created my own heading. I loved the way she had today documented um, and how she had that today in the big font and then the documented in that gorgeous scripty font underneath. So I decided I was gonna play with the thickers and I'm gonna have fun dino day. And they're gonna go together like that or days, fun dino days. So. Now that I've got the general feel of how it's going, I've got to try and find the right photo that's not going to get covered, like I want to cover someone's face by the word fun. And it's going to have to be this way. And hubby's just going to have to be up a little bit so he doesn't get his face covered up. And then, okay, I think we've got it. So now that it's basically all sorted out, I'm going to go ahead with my sewing machine and stitch, stitch down all of those lines. I also um, distressed each of the papers. I had unfortunately already put that yellow bar down the left hand side so kind of had to distress it while it was already glued down but that's totally fine. I made it work and so I distressed each of the strips of yellow and blue and then I put a stitching line all the way through them. Now I'm going to stick it. Oh, I've already also stuck on my photos, but they're in the exact same position as you saw them moments ago. So now I'm going to stick on my dino, the word dino, and that is using some foam adhesive because I did stick my photos up with foam adhesive. So just making sure it's straight or straight-ish. And then I'm going to put fun in across the top and being conscious of not um, covering up the boys because I do I do want them to be the features of the photos not the word fun and then of course I do I am going to stick the word days out the side but I don't know if you've noticed but the D will be sticking up on top of the dino and the AYS will be sticking down now what do you do in this situation I always wonder do you just have half on the paper half elevated 
I can't do that 99.9% of the time. It just messes with my head. So I go ahead and get little teeny bits of foam and back them behind the thickers, especially things like this that have thick enough edges that I can add little bits of foam to them. And I pop them up. I know it is totally crazy and it is super fiddly and super duper sticky, but I think it makes me happier in the end to have them sticking up until you get to this letter like the letter S <laughs> and you put a bit of foam in the fat part in the middle of the S and then realize that the top and the little bottom of the curly part of the S is just going to stick straight to the page and that's going to look weird. And then you have to try and play with teeny tiny little bits of foam to get it to stick on. I'm mad, right? Tell me. Is that what you do? Do you stick it up on foam or do you just have the D stuck up on foam and the other three letters stuck flat to the paper? Oh, I just don't know. So the general basis of my layout is 100% done. And you know what? I actually could have called it done right there. It looks cool, but I am of course going to embellish because how can you say no with a whole pack of those beautiful embellishments just sitting there in front of me? I loved the way Mari used um, little word stickers on her rays yet. of sunshine. And I am totally going to do that as well because there are some great words in this sticker sheet. Things like quality time and stuff like that, which really work with what this particular layout is about. Because of course, it's my whole family at the zoo. And we really don't do that very often because hubby works full time. I often take the kids on trips like this by myself on a work day because it is quieter at the zoo on a work day than it is on a busy weekend. So it is super nice to have us all together and doing something exciting. We're also just at, those of you that are not from Australia, we're at our normal zoo. This is the Werribee Zoo, those of you that are in Australia. I've never taken the boys to the Werribee Zoo. We've always just been to the Melbourne Zoo. The Werribee Zoo is an open range zoo. So things like the monkeys and stuff, yeah, they're behind a fence, but they're kind of behind like a chicken wire fence, like a really flimsy fence, but they're on an island. So there's a big moat in front of them. Um, so if they really, really wanted to and they knew how to swim, they could totally swim across the moat, but yeah, they don't. That's just crazy. Um, but it's super cool. You kind of feel like you're right there looking at the animals, which is awesome. And then things like... Um, the lines and stuff they are caged uh, they do have a big glass wall in front of them but like the hippos they're just there over a little wooden fence like it is really cool and then you go on this safari bus and the safari bus drives you like right next to them like there was a rhino like a meter and a half away from the rhino bus it was just brilliant from the bus it was amazing the kids absolutely loved it and one of the highlights of the zoo at the moment is the dinosaur dinosaurs so they're obviously not real but they roar and they move and they are super amazing and we actually saw them at the melbourne zoo and the kids were 100 percent petrified and we had to leave in a great big giant hurry so these ones we came super early before they were awake they were still asleep slash turned on and the kids loved them because they didn't roar, they didn't move, and the kids could just actually see them and get up nice and close to them, and they were not scary. So that was awesome. I am going to quickly mention before I move too far on this layout that the clear sticker sheet, I absolutely love those little crosses. They're almost like stamping on your page, but like later when you know exactly where you want your stamp to go and you don't make a mess by getting the ink smudged or anything like that. Incredible. I could have an entire page of those kind of backgroundy cross things. I love them. But here is my finished product. I hope Mari would be proud. I hope I did her proud with my scrap list of hers. Her layout was incredible. Definitely go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching my take on this wonderful bright and sunshiny layout i hope you have enjoyed your sun kissed kit this month and i love seeing all of those creations you are sharing in the facebook group thanks everyone have a wonderful wonderful week